locomotion and movement. Locomotion and movements in vertebrates. Movement is one of the most important characteristics of living organisms. Locomotion and movements in vertebrates, including man, are brought about by skeleton, joints and muscles. Muscle is a specialized tissue which constitutes about 40 to 50 percent of the body weight of a human adult. They have special properties like excitability, contractibility, extensibility and elasticity. The diagrammatic representation here reveals the cross-sectional view of skeletal muscle where muscles are held together by a common connective tissue to form a number of muscle bundles. Each muscle bundle contains a number of muscle fibers. The Mechanism of Muscle Contraction The mechanism of muscle contraction is best explained by the sliding filament theory which states that contraction of a muscle fiber takes place by the sliding of the thin filaments over the thick filaments as represented in the schematic figure. Human Skeletal System Human skeletal system consists of 206 bones. This system has a significant role in the movement of the body. For convenience of study, the human skeletal system is grouped into axial skeleton and appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton comprises of 80 bones including the skull, vertebral column, sternum and ribs. The appendicular skeleton consists of 125 bones comprising the skeleton of limbs and girdles. Bones of the axial and appendicular skeleton. The tabular representation gives the count of bones of the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton of humans. Total up the bones of both skeletal groups to check whether it adds up to 206 bones. Joints and their classification. A joint is the meeting place of two bones. Joints are essential for all types of movements involving the bony parts of the body. They act as levers to bring about specific types of movements. Joints are classified into three types, namely immovable or fibrous joints, slightly movable or cartilaginous joints, and freely movable or perfect joints. The visuals of three types of joints are given here. Observe the difference between the three and associate it to the specific region in your body. Disorders of the muscular and skeletal system. There are a few disorders associated with the muscular and skeletal system as listed here. Study the description of the disorders mentioned.